from London to New York and Paris to Vienna. Thousands of people took to the streets on Saturday to condemn Russia's growing military aggression on Ukraine. Demonstrations ranged from loud protests to symbolic ones, starting with New York. Protesters gathered in Times Square on Saturday to protest Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Demonstrators held anti-Putin slogans to denounce Moscow of its military maneuvers in Eastern Europe. We are Ukrainians living in New York and we are desperate to ask people to help Ukraine to fight because they are just alone. They're supporting but actually not supporting. We want real support country because they are weak. It's a small country. We never wanted war and we have our relatives, our mothers, children and grandchildren there. Meanwhile, in London, hundreds of demonstrators rallied outside the Russian embassy on Saturday to condemn Moscow's military attack. Protesters chanted pro-Ukraine slogans and waved Ukrainian flags to express their solidarity with the country. In the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, thousands of protesters hit the streets of the capital city of Tbilisi to support Ukraine as fighting continued across the country. Georgia, like Ukraine, is also facing a Russia-backed separatist movement. The separatist movement was intensified following a brief war with Russia in 2008. Moscow-backed forces have since held the Georgian regions I'm here to support Ukraine and their people who are right now fighting a war versus Vladimir Putin and versus Russia. And secondly, I'm going to protest the regime of Vladimir Putin and Russia. Uh, I want the Ukrainians to know that we are here, all of these people are with them, and Slava Ukraine. Meanwhile, thousands of protesters marched through Vienna on Saturday to demonstrate against Russia's attack on Ukraine, protesters demanded an end to the Russia's military assault and immediate ceasefire. The demonstration in the Austrian capital coincided with other shows of solidarity for Ukraine in other European cities like London and Berlin. And in France, hundreds of people took to the streets of Paris to show their support for Ukraine. Demonstrators gathered in the French capital's Republic Square, waving flags and banners. The protests came as Russian troops closed in on Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, as a number of skirmishes were reported across the country. In Israel, thousands of protesters flocked to Habima Square in central Tel Aviv on Saturday to condemn the Russian attack. According to reports, around 10,000 protesters joined the protests, which were organized by a group called Israeli Friends of Ukraine. It was one of the largest protests since the beginning of the invasion.
And also, dozens of protesters dressed in bridal costumes gathered outside the Russian embassy in Mexico City on Saturday to call out against Putin's military actions. They held Ukrainian flags and other signs to show their solidarity with the nation. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.